Hell's Paradise, one Need of to cloak the myself best, here. like, dark trios of, not dark trios, but like, like, MAPPA's big hits, you know, you got your Chainsaw Man, you got your fucking Jujutsu Kaisen, and then we have the third, but not last, but also last trio of it all, Hell's Paradise, which is kind of like, Dark Shonen, it's not really following its standard typical Shonen, but it's also, it's like more darker than usual because mostly for Shonen Come, has more me for of a like game a or two. positive atmosphere, Let's something begin. like that. You are an lines, eager one. But it doesn't really go dark enough like how I wanted it to, but you know, how it is with Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man and then hearing this from Hell's Paradise with being the whole collector trio that Mappa was going to anime is like, wow, like the, these three enemies all share similar are all share similarities to one another and they kind of parallel one another but it's still its own little thing and i love it so much and right off the bat opening is great the animation you already know it's great because map will run that shit back but it also has a really nice premise too so there is this um excuse me gabri how do we say his name is like gabri maru or I'll, I'll just say Gabby for sure, even though that's a girl's name. So Gabby, he is like the world's fucking deadliest assassin, deadliest ninja in the world. He's literally, this dude's nickname is uh, Gabby Maru the Hollow. Like this man is like unstoppable and you get to see that in the anime and, mm, and his abilities are like mm. So, So for this man, he was going to sentence, sentence to death yada 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 and he was granted a pardon if you can find this go to this mysterious island to find an elixir of life and he'll be granted a pardon pardon so he can see his wife again oh yeah and this dude is also mortal too so that's the also cool fun part about that he wants to die but not really. but then he decided to change his mind and you know wants to see his wife throughout what well, i don't know like in the first two episodes you get to see like how he is because he's not really he's he's an emotionless character emotionless character can't really blame him from um the rough training that he has growing up but yeah throughout like the whole 12 episodes because the 13th one i'm going to spoil it if you guys haven't watched it the 12 episodes you get to see his character development change a little by little to more so not negate his feelings but also but to use them to help him fuel to help him grow a bit stronger you know and all these foam ideals and philosophies that was jammed into his brain as a kid that made him the way he is he is now reflecting on that and just using him not in the most devious aggressive way that he has but like use him in a more positive and inside on it so yeah and the other characters are also great too like, it, like this is like like old it's like an old i forgot what era this is but this is like old like you know ninjas samurais and all that stuff so him and his this will i guess bodyguard or his bodyguard slash person that has to kill him or whatever also she also goes through a character development alongside with Garmiar. I think it's like Ya Yamada? Ya Yamada? Yamada? Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know how to see her But you guys know what I'm talking about. It's, it's, it's the bitch with it's the bitch that's the only samurai there. Okay. The only girl that's the samurai. She also gets a little bit of a character development change and you could see it's not only him that goes through this, it's other prisoners too because he, like these are all like people who have done way worse crimes so they're just been granted this pardon so that way you know it's more so like appeasing towards them to make sh to have them actually to have them sacrifice so much for life like, like i would never do that it cannot be fucking me i don't know i don't know if it's just me 
anything, but I would never sacrifice my fucking life for an elixir if I was a fucking criminal. But you know, you get to see other criminals too with their samurai bodyguards counterparts too. And some of them you got you actually get to feel a bit sympathetic towards them because they're not all criminals. Some are, some are, but they're just some that's been wrongfully put there for no no reason at all. Like there's the, there's this one. It was like this one. Ch there was this little girl that's a criminal that because of her her race. It's because of her race that she was put into jail. Like it's literally like wow. That's kind of fucked up in my opinion. And there was one with like a brother. There was one with like two brothers. The brother is the prisoner, and the brother is the bodyguard slash samurai for them. But um, yeah, it goes through it all, and the and the paradise it's like this whole island it's it's this paradise island that no one can actually leave there alive you know? it's, it's really intimidating at first but once they all get to the island they all just start killing each other but the whole supremacy of this island is so mysterious and you need to find this you know to order to grant the party but if the island has a few mystery, mysteries with these deities, like they're all, they're like all gods, but they're not all gods, it's like these seven fucking transformative creatures that have godlike powers that can swap genders, mind you, which is kind of, uh, which is kind of questionable, but you know, it's anime, so I can't really give it, I can't really give it too much there, but yeah, other than that, it's more so of a mystery, ties in with um, action and everything so it's like a good balance in between it's not something of like oh it's always going to be this or it's always going to be that I, I like it that like it, it it's well paced that's yeah that's that's a good word it's, yeah that's a good word for it it's well paced with you know it's moments and everything that's what I like about it because like if I want to see some action it's going to be action later or if I want some more expository you get expository if you want some character development you can see you know there's a little bit of like everything that's there in this world pace my only problem my only problem my only problem with this anime is that the listen guys listen 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 you can't tell me like this anime would be so great if it had 24 fucking episodes for its first season, you know? I kind of hated that with fucking Chainsaw Man, but hey, you gotta do the same route again, so it's like, ugh. And that's what's happening with Jujutsu Kaisen. The first 13 or whatever is like, go just pass, and then the rest would be a two-part arc. I'm like, hmm. You know, I'd rather we get parts of uh, fucking Hell's Paradise and Chainsaw Man that actually like cut it short you know because i feel kind of cheated a little bit it's just like this anime has a lot of potential it has like so much hype going for it for each episode and it's just like how the 13th episode um ended off with gabriel actually waking up because he was in a trance because this dude never had a wife this dude is back to being gabriel the hollow the actual heartless killer he is and that uh, his wife and everything was just all like a trance that he was put under. And the rest of that, like, now in the 12th episode. Who the fuck are these Sweet people? Sweet victory. That stuff. But, um, yeah. You are pretty I like good. to say that, you know. Shall we go again? Hell's Paradise is a really good That anime. is enough all for I now. I suggest, you know, people do watch it. I suggest watching, you know, if you guys haven't watched, like, for me, it's like, if you watch Chainsaw Man and fucking Jujutsu Kaisen, then I think, you know, watching Hell's Paradise is not gonna, it's not gonna be, like, like I said, it is different, but it's still, it still has its similarities with its, um, with its counter, with, not its counterparts, with their, their other an anime counterparts too, you know, they're intertwined with one another, and I love that so much, and it really gives you that dark, gritty, like, tone feeling that it has, and that it can deliver, and it, Delivery's really nice at some sequences of this anime, but yeah, that's just it for me. If you guys, like I said, if you guys watch Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man, this one will be. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna give this anime a good solid eight out of ten. You know, I'm just a little bit upset that we haven't got more. You know, 
episodes and it's been cut off to only 13. I'm kind of pissed off about that. But yep, yeah, um, I would recommend, you know, I wouldn't think this would be my enemy of the year, but it, it has some good um, potential to be nominated for something good good action sequences, good opening, maybe some character development, stuff like that. Stuff like that. So I would recommend watching this besides any other seasonal animes that have like a season two because I feel like in my opinion like this one is a really good anime that's out this year that I feel like people shouldn't sleep on. And again, if you guys have watched the other two animes then this one will be another like another banger that you'll probably thank my book and for animating. But yeah guys, let me know what you guys think about um of Hell's Paradise, whether you like it or not, one of the favorite mo moments in this. Mine is literally when Gabriel is fighting off the fucking demigod deity thing by himself. That was like the best moment ever. Like, <laughs> my favorite moment of the anime. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. If not, that's okay with me. But, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sonic 39 and I hope you all have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is. Take care, stay safe, and all that good stuff. But anyways guys, later.